Oh, man. What's up, Jonathan? Well, I turned off the error, but I forgot to check which code it was. Yeah, that error alarm can be pretty annoying, so if you accidentally cut it off, luckily the control panel stores every error on the error log. This is important in case you need to call in for service and let them know what's going on with the equipment. Want me to show you how to find it? Yeah, that'd be great. All right, I'll walk you through finding the error log. Regardless if the fryer is on or off, hold the menu button in the bottom left of the control panel for three seconds. This brings up our main menu. From here, simply click option two, info mode. In info mode, our first option is error log with a down arrow that says view. Go ahead and click this button to scroll down to the current date and time. This is the day and time you are currently accessing the fryer. Scroll down one more time to see the most recent error that's been logged on the control panel. In this case, high limit trip on March 21st, 2023 at 11.07 p.m. This is great to know when you're calling in for service to let them know the error you most recently received. By continuing to scroll, you can see any previous errors that have been logged on the control panel in the past. Once done, simply go back to the menu option in the bottom left and hold for an additional three seconds to get back to the main menu. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Now I know how to check the error log. When do I need to do this again? Good question. You're gonna to wanna to access the error log anytime you receive an error and you're calling in for service. That way, a dispatcher can let you know whether it's something we can troubleshoot over the phone or we need to send one of our certified technicians from Five Point. You feeling good? I'm feeling like I can do it. That's great. But that's all we have for today. So until next time, peace out.